All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back. Today, we're just going to be talking about a bunch of random stuff related yeah, to YouTube be a boring one. and um, <laughs> some movies, whatever. Whatever we happen to end up talking about. Um, and Jackson just brought up uh, YouTube Rewind, and yes, I did see it. It's not... Gosh. Great. It was boring. But it was a step in the right direction. At least it was a rewind, you know. Yeah, actually... it was basically what it should have been. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much more to say at about least, that, honestly. Well, at least <laughs> with that, um, I knew everybody, or at least, like, had a good <laughs> idea on who everyone know was. know anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um... Like James Charles and shit like that. I fucking I'm not a fan. Um, but whatever floats your boat, you know, with your butt pics and shit like that. But uh, at least I knew who he was. Where last year I had no idea who the fuck anybody was. I I did know famous YouTuber Will Smith. Um, but uh, other than that, that was another year Fortnite before. Ninja. Yeah, no, that was 2018. Fuck man, time goes fast. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not even gonna... I shouldn't yeah. have even... Let's try it. <laughs> I shouldn't it's even have attempted to... a Will Smith right now. It's uh, yeah, first thing in the morning. Absolutely should not. Nah. Shouldn't be doing that. Uh. <laughs> um, so, I don't know if you ended up seeing uh, the new trailer for the new James Bond film that dropped I a couple did days not. ago. No, it, um, it looks alright. But, like, Daniel Craig, he can't stop making Bond films. After every one, he's like, alright, that's the last one for me. I'm walking away, and I will never do it again. And then he comes back and does and another then, one. <laughs> and then whatever studio makes those films calls him up, and they say, hey, do you want to do another Bond film? He says, no. And then he looks outside and sees the dump truck filled with one hundred dollar bills. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're like they just offer him some fat stacks. It's like the case with um bringing Harrison Ford back for the Force Awakens. You know, he's like, mm. no, I'm not doing it. Hey, look at your window. <laughs> beep, beep. This fucking truck's just backing in, dumping money. Yeah. And then he just looks down in shame because you know he has to do it again. Yeah. The, the money's already on your property. You gotta come do it now. Can you imagine if he just like staunchly refused, <laughs> and then they had to get somebody else to play us? <laughs> oh man, that would be amazing. So I, I've had to just look up the uh, the title for the new James Bond film because I cannot keep up with these titles for the life of me. There's so fucking many, and of course it's, this one's called No Time to Die. <laughs> um, if you'd asked me I could have sworn that was already one of them yeah well that's the thing I, I can't keep up with them I'm pretty sure this is the fifth entry he had a uh, Quantum Solace I think then there's yeah, Casino Quantum Royale Solace. Skyfall Spectre and now No Time to Die I think uh, forgive me if I've missed one probably missing Like I, I haven't even seen Spectre yet I I I have not seen Spectre. Yeah. I heard it wasn't great. It was just... Mm. Oh, yeah. Another James Bond film. What the hell? Okay. Justice League Snyder Cut gets support from fast food chains, and then in brackets, seriously. (laughs) What? What website are you on? Subway (laughs) is leading the charge. (laughs) They want the Justice League Snyder Cup. I don't think it exists. So the problem with that was, um, Zack Snyder... It was awful. Well, he was... Well, it was just a shit show for everybody involved. You know, Zack Snyder made Man of Steel and then Batman v Superman and wanted to continue making his darker kind of universe with Justice League. And you can see it more in the, the first trailers. But what happened was, is, um, midway through production, his daughter kind of left us in I think that's Rip. an appropriate way to say it big F yeah. F in the chat yes 
fat Fs, everybody. And it, it wasn't good. And with that happening, he obviously left the project, and they were like, hmm, who should we bring along to finish our film? Oh, what about yeah. that guy? That guy that made the first Avengers film and the second one. No, yeah, that Joss Whedon. Brought Wheaton in film. Will Wheaton. <laughs> oh, <Joss> Whedon. <laughs> yeah, that no, Joss Whedon. And um, to finish it, and, and you could see very painfully where the jokes had been uh, inserted into the film. Yes. To try and lighten the mood, I, and you know. I would be um, hesitant to call any of the jokes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, all over the place. Um, what are you, what are, what are your thoughts on uh, Robert Pattinson as Batman? I have no thoughts. No thoughts. I immediately started making some Twilight jokes, but I thought about it, and I reckon he'll do a really good job. No, some of the other stuff I've seen him in, he's really fucking good. He's one of those actors that's been tied down to a franchise, and everyone knows him as just that one guy. You know, it's like Robert Downey Jr. He is known for being yeah. Iron Man. That's it. You see him in anything else. It's like, oh, it's the guy that played Iron Man. I know him for... I know him for that time. Just made a hop and cool announcement. <laughs> oh, the hop and cool announcement, yes. Oh, that's good. Hey, honey bunnies. Here for a hop and cool announcement. <laughs> Fuck. So, um... Yeah, uh... I reckon Robert Pattinson will make a pretty good Batman. Really? Uh, especially with a film that just came out. I don't know if you've ever seen it or heard anything. It's called The Lighthouse. It stars uh, Willem Dafoe as well. Um, I have heard of that. I've yeah, been... it's all black and white. It's in like one of the old video aspect ratios. And it's just about two men slowly going insane together in a lighthouse. That sounds fucking epic. That yeah, it's right apparently right really fucking good. And um, I, I mean, Willem Dafoe looks like he just looks like the kind of <laughs> <he's already there. laughs> yeah, he looks like he's already there all the time. I fucking love Willem Dafoe; he's great. Um, so yeah, in the realm of Batman news, uh, the Batman movie casts Peter Sarsgaard potentially as Two Face. Um, I've always loved Two Face. I'd love to see another rendition of that, but. It's going to be pretty hard to top the Dark Knight, really. Like, yeah, I mean, that just comes up whenever somebody brings up anything that's in the Dark Knight. Yeah, it. oh, it's just that that's the adaptation of Two-Face to come up against. You know, I don't think Tommy Lee Jones has much of a say in, oh, my portrayal was the best. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was great. Oh, I fucking love that movie. What's on the box? Oh, fuck. Yeah, no. I'm... Have you heard about what Papa John's founder said? Um, so I think it was something about the pizzas not being better since he left or something. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not sure. talking about that. I, I've just brought the article, an article up now. Papa John's founder vows day of reckoning will come. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Because um, he stepped down as the CEO of uh, Papa John's Pizza. So Papa John's Pizza just is not owned by Papa John and hasn't been for about two years. Oh, yeah. um, because uh, he said the N word in an interview, so we got. Oh. Okay, yeah, that, that looks, now, that'll explain it. But now I'm thinking that he's gonna, like, go Green Goblin on them. <laughs> Out, am I? <laughs> Kills the boardroom members. The... Oh, yeah, no. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know if we mentioned it. said in an interview... The day of fracking would come, and he's <laughs> not explained what he meant by that. <laughs> um, um, I don't know if I mentioned it already, um, but we both haven't caught up with Sleepwalkers yet, all the way, and um, we'll postpone that for another time, because I don't like forcing myself to do shit that I'm not feeling 
at the moment. Yeah. And I'm just going to wait till I'm feeling like it. Hopefully next yeah. week. We don't know. We'll see. I mean, we are supposed to do, yeah. do this last week, but then I was like, ah, fuck this. Because mm. I get yeah, lazy. Yeah, you can't force this to do anything. Yeah, you can't. Doesn't want to do. Try getting him to play Dying Light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Um... Uh, have you seen any of The Mandalorian yet? I have not. I've still only seen the first episode. I'm waiting because the episodes are apparently only half an hour long each and I don't want to be, you know, watching one and going, fuck, i got to wait a week for the next one. I'm kind of waiting so I can binge it all at once. But uh, Baby yeah. Yoda has taken over the fucking planet. Jesus Christ. I know. Like I, I did... A BuzzFeed was yesterday at what percentage are you Baby Yoda? And I got 96% Baby Yoda. Fuck yes. Okay, <laughs> hey, hold the hold the front door. You took a BuzzFeed quiz? Took a BuzzFeed quiz about what percentage Baby Yoda am I? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um... I'm actually really looking forward to watching The Mandalorian. The first episode was pretty pretty good. I liked it. Apparently the third yeah. one's a banger. It's really good. And, um... Mm. Yeah, I can't wait. Um... But I want to be able to binge it and watch it through properly. And then we can talk yeah, about that. Fair. Yeah. Um... What else is happening? Uh, Birds of Prey. That's... Kinda like... Suicide Squad 2, but it's not Suicide Squad 2. Well, wow, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's got, um, it's got, uh, you and McGregor in it. Oh, it does? Yeah, yeah, you're, you know, hello there. <laughs> that's, use that to associate with you and McGregor. It helps. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he might be the villain, he might not be, um... But I'm pretty sure he's portraying the character Black Mask, who's interesting. I, I like him in, um, um, like, I see him more in, like, animated shit. And, uh, yeah. I've always enjoyed the character. I, I'd love to see a live action adaptation, and if anyone can pull it off, you and McGregor's never let me down. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's mostly like a Harley Quinn movie. But it's got other shit in it. I don't know how that'll turn out. We'll have to see when we get more information on it. It's got a trailer. Um, uh, what else? Uh, Ghostbusters 2020. Gets a title. Uh, images. Poster. Um, I didn't even see the reboot with all the women. I actually walked out of the cinema. It's oh, just, really? Just, Shit. Yeah. See, I... I would have thought that it's all been overblown and that it's just... basically going to be just mediocre. It's not going to be fucking awful. It and wasn't it's... mediocre. It was no. awful. It was awful? Oh, I'll have yeah. To... I'd say I'd have to see for myself, but I'm, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I yeah. just I won't I won't get the time to go. Fuck yes, I've worked all week and now I'm gonna put this time aside on my weekend to watch Ghostbusters 2016. Fuck yes. <laughs> watch the original Ghostbusters. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm not gonna find the time. But this one's got um, uh, Paul Rudd in it. Uh, the bloke who plays Ant Man. Yeah. And I it's know. um, yeah, it's all. I know him personally. Oh really? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Um, you should... We're tight. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> sweet. Um, yeah, we, we should hook him up, get him to join us one time. Yeah, we need yeah. to get a bit more clout. <laughs> or, uh, get free Paul Rudd on the podcast. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel with Ghostbusters at the moment, so they're doing it again, but it's all blokes this time, and I don't think that's... The problem it's just the way that it's written yeah no that was not a problem and you did have this like fucking chemistry with the original that you've got to have 
like you've got to have chemistry with the new cast instead of just oh they're all male and it's going to work yeah, I, I had think it's no a... trouble believing that those guys were all great friends and that one guy was black <laughs> um, he, he could have fooled me well, I, see, I don't think the problem is, is gender. I don't. I think it's just the writing and the marketing. And it's, you know, it absolutely is. Yeah. You know, and it can work. It's like female and superhero films. They can work. They've just got to not try and cram down the message of women empowerment. It's like, no, yeah. women, women have been badass before in uh, films. I, I always refer to uh, Terminator 2. Because holy shit, does Sarah Terminator Connor kick two? some ass. She's so yeah, fucking uh, badass. Terminator you know? 2 is a good example. My go to is uh, normally Alien with uh, Scorny oh, Weaver. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, she's fantastic as well. You know, those are great examples of strong women without cramming it down your throat that, no, I'm really strong and independent. It's like, you can do strong without. That. That's what I'm saying. You can, you can do it without saying it to the camera and. They yeah. never adver- I'm pretty sure they never advertised her row in the fucking yeah. Aliens trailer. <laughs> yeah, it's just this. Potent- I don't know what what's happened with the cinema in that regard. That all of a sudden, women aren't strong characters anymore, and they've been suppressed or some shit. It's fucking stupid. Ah, oh, forgive me. I'm a bit under the weather today. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, uh, Venom 2 could be rated R thanks to Joker's success, says producer. I, okay, I don't care. I'm so excited for Venom 2. I, I don't care, <laughs> but I really, really want to see Venom 2 with Woody Harrelson as Carnage. I just, oh, for, yeah. for shits and giggles, like that Ronald McDonald afro he's got. I, I need that in my life. I I fuck oh, yeah. that. I'd be so good. There's gonna be carnage. <laughs> so I kind of want to see it. I wish they had screenings for films, um, just so you could laugh at them. Mm. You know, like have two cinemas for Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker. One full of people that want to see it because they'll enjoy it, and one cinema full of people who are just gonna laugh their ass off the whole time. You know, so yeah. everybody could just chill in there and have some drinks and just enjoy. I it. remember when I watched um, Last Jedi, I just was fu- I was just cracking up at some of the fucking things in that. <laughs> some boomer sitting behind me, I asked me to stop. Oh god! Like it was literally like. A fucking like old lady, like not not like old as in like late sixties or whatever. She yeah. was like mid fifties maybe. Yeah. Um, Grew up with the. Stars. She was there with like seven children. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, I always get terrified when kids are brought into the cinema. It's like, is that one gonna make trouble? No, hope not. And if it does, mm-hmm. I will tell him to shut up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thankfully, I have not had many bad cinema experiences. They've all been pretty damn good. Mm. But um, Venom Two, I don't care. How was Venom Two even being made? Like the, the, the first sp- one was so successful. It, it, it had to be, but it's bloody terrible. God, it was bad. probably I'm, successful in China. A lot of movies are. Yeah. I just um, fucking love Venom as a character, and I, I can't wait for the day when they get him right, like in a in a film or fucking any some of any form of media. Like I think of um, back to like the Venom saga and shit like that. If they can do it right and like deep dive into more like of Eddie's psyche and shit like that, and have Spider Man in it as well, and fucking. I mean, I firmly believe the only way to do Venom is you need a whole trilogy to do it. Like, I would... Like, your first film, you have Eddie Brock in it, you have him getting screwed over the whole time. 
The second film, the symbiote's introduced at the start with like the shuttle crashing on the bridge. And he has the black suit for the whole film. And again, Eddie is getting screwed over. And then in the background, though. Yeah, in the background, and then like Eddie's in the background. And then at the end of the second film, he removes the black suit, and then attaches to Brock. And then the second film ends. You know what I mean? Like that stinger of oh fuck. And then the third film, you don't have to worry about setting up Venom and all that because it's already been set up in the background. You can have a whole movie of him just tormenting Peter because he knows who he loves, who he cares about, everything, you know what I mean? Fucking with his head proper. Yeah. And he, d- he doesn't go to church and say, God, please kill Peter. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to give a guy a break? Oh, love the That's new the outfit. That's the funniest. <laughs> That's the funniest thing in Spider-Man 3. Eddie Brock just asks God to kill Peter. <laughs> I want you to kill Peter Parker. Oh, man. No, I reckon the part where he's like, oh my god, that's Gwen up there. What? Yes. And then he, then he takes the camera and looks. It's like, who that. are you? I'm a photographer, and I'm dating your daughter. <laughs> like, shouldn't he be more freaked out that his girlfriend's hanging off the side of a building? It's like, oh my god, that's Gwen. What the fuck? <laughs> shouldn't he be like, oh shit, fuck. No. Isn't that, like, where she works? Why is she surprised that she's there? I don't know. It's... Yeah, it's weird. It's really weird. I still love Spider-Man 3, though. I don't care what anybody says. I fucking oh, yeah, love that movie. fucking awesome. Everyone bashes on it for, like, just a couple of the cons, but it's still really good. It's got so many good things in it. Like, um, you know, that scene where Sam and comes together and stuff like that, and... You know what I miss with um superhero films like that is that they really felt like an event, like you were going to the cinema and it was special. You know, with all the newer yeah. films, it's just like I don't know if it's because they're cranking them out so consistently that you no, know, I'm getting fatigued with it, or that they're treating it like it's just to set up for the next chapter instead of really going. This is Spider-Man Two. Holy shit, you know, mm. and that it's rewatched billions of times. Like, even, like, the Danny Elfman um, score of the original Spider-Man films in the opening, you know, it felt special. Like, I'd get fucking goosebumps anytime, you know, immediately yes. with the Columbia logo. Oh, fuck, <laughs> yeah. I know what movie this is. Um, but, yeah, I, back to... Who am I? <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, back to Venom. I believe that's the only way to do it right. You've got to have mm. it set up like that, and I'd I have. I mean, Spider-Man Three did him right. I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna say <laughs> that. I like being bad. It makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man Three did everything right. I tell you, what, as a kid, that was the one I watched the most. I liked Spider-Man Three a lot, mm. more than I should have. Like the dancing didn't bother me. For me, like the dancing. The dance. No, everyone takes everyone takes that out of context, assuming that it's supposed to be a serious thing, but it's a joke. It's like it's, well, I look this, at it like it's raindrops falling on my head scene from Spider Man Two. It's you know, it's, it's a Sam great. Raimi thing, and it's supposed to be like that. That yeah, and no, it's not like supposed that, to. Peter Parker would totally think that that's cool yeah that's the thing he would think that's cool and people would blow him off you know what i mean yeah like, that's it it works fantastically it's with content like suddenly became cool he just became more like yeah he pops arrogant. his collar up and just starts fucking yeah. dancing and shit that's what this fucking peter would do i reckon it's really good <laughs> and <laughs> it is it is funny to watch <laughs> <laughs> Every time it just absolutely is. Uh, um, yeah, the only problem with that film is is definitely just that it's trying to balance too many stories at once. You know, you got Harry and New Goblin, and all the Sandman stuff, then all of Venom in like one film. You know, and then bloody Mary Jane subplots and fucking just all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and it just I still like it. There's still a lot of great things, but it's a bit of a mess. I look at it like it's a film that's got a couple issues, but there's shining gems among the whole thing. 
like when he first gets the black suit and shit like that it looks fucking great and the score is awesome you know what it just comes out of like the islands and stuff as it comes together ah uh, I love it but uh fucking fuck Venom in the bloody new Venom movie and shit I don't like it like the only pro is that he's he's bigger but I don't catch him he's like somewhere in between he's not like Hulk size but he's not normal size it's a little little out yeah I don't mind too much I mean it doesn't it's more that Spider-Man isn't in the film it doesn't like it was um the movie was uh inspired by uh Venom Lethal Protector which is uh a story where like I can't remember whether Spider-Man's like okay we've made a deal you leave and don't cause any chaos again or Spider-Man thinks he killed him and Venom gets away but he goes to San Francisco or or whatever and um basically bec- you know cause Eddie doesn't see himself as a bad person mm. and you know and takes Spider-Man does, it makes him happy <laughs> <laughs> but uh t- take take Spider-Man into the equation and then what the fuck would Venom do with himself and so Eddie thinks he's a good person so he basically does Spider-Man except he fucking bites criminals heads off and shit like that and that was uh, Venom Lethal Protector and then eventually um, all the shit with Carnage happens there and he's like oh fuck Mm -hmm. Carnage is my problem I've got to stop him goes to stop Carnage and then you know because shit's going down, Spidey ends up coming back and finding Eddie's alive and working with Eddie and stuff. And that's a little bit reminiscent of the Venom saga and shit in that way. But, like, that's what I thought they were going to try and do with uh, the Venom movie was basically have him have the white spider logo and shit and say that he's just left New York and stuff. He's doing his own thing. But to um, go, like, full origin story with it and... Like Venom's just immediately is not as compelling as a character without Spider Man. It's just yeah. the two have to be together. That you should have had Andrew Garth as Spider Man make. I would have liked that. I would yeah. have like uh-huh. pretend it's still that universe and he's already pondered with the black suit and separated with it, and Venom's just fucking there. I don't care. You know, a lot of people mm. fucking know this shit. No, there's yeah. not many people that are like, oh, fuck, I don't know who Venom is. You know, general cinema-going people and shit. Venom's been around. Yeah. I like, it's, it's that... You know who Venom is. Yeah, I think it's more that, like, studios and shit don't trust public knowledge enough. You know, they've got to really yeah, explain really things. Don't. And that's true to some extent, but to only, like, 5% of the people going to see the film. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you know, I'm happy to just, like with the new Batman film, I wanted to just not be an origin story, but just start with Batman in his prime and he's just taking down another villain, like just a one-off story and shit, like Joker. Mm. I know, because we all know who Joker is, but let's just see another yeah. adaptation but to add to his legacy. Don't, yeah, even Joker if you don't, Joker still works. It does. It's its own film. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I mean, the stuff with Bruce Wayne would seem a little odd to somebody who didn't know. Who yeah, Batman was. I feel like, but anyone like could who the fuck doesn't these. know who Batman is? <laughs> you know, yeah. or has never heard of Batman. Mm. I don't like the argument. What if it's some like six-year-old kid who's never heard of Batman? And oh. then his parents take him to see Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've known Batman for as long as I've fucking lived. Same with Spider-Man. Yeah. You know, it's like, I was watching Spider-Man films before I understand who the fuck Spider-Man was. That's at you least know, how I remember I, it. I've been watching... I've been watching Spider-Man and Shrek since before I had a firm grasp of the English language. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's um, actually something my mom tells me a lot, that Shrek is the first movie I ever sat through from start to finish. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. man, I don't... I don't know for the life of me what mine was. I, uh... As a kid, I liked... 
pretty much anything superhero really. I mm. like the um, Michael Keaton Batman films, the original Spider Man trilogy. I liked um, Ang Lee's Hulk film. To some degree, I would skip everything but the action scenes. That that's that's how I watched Ang Lee's Hulk film. I appreciate what he tried to do with the film, but like you know, he that's didn't not the to... one we had Wood Norton, is it? No, it's the one before where he's like twenty five feet and bright green and made of rubber. <laughs> that one. Yeah, you know, what what happened with that was is uh, Ang Lee was. I'm not sure what films he was famous for making, but they weren't action or whatever. May have been uh, drama Isn't it like or something romance? like that. I, I, I don't know. I can't say for certain. But he um, he he always planned on making an action film, like one, and he was it was more like Bruce Lee, like kung fu fighting, like that type of action film. He wanted to do martial arts and shit. He said he only wanted to do one, and he made it, and it was fucking awesome. Like start to finish, it was considered really great. And um, he then was like, "Okay, cool, I've done that. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing." But at that time, Universal was like, "Hey, we're making a Hulk film, and um, you're gonna come on and make a Hulk film for us." And he's like, um, "Look, I only wanted to do like one movie, and I don't know the source material or anything about comic books in general." And they're like, "We don't care. You make money, and we want you." So he did the best he could with trying to make an adaptation, but he didn't know anything, and um, that's why it's got like a lot of the edits are like comic book panels and like slides and pans and yeah. shit like that, you know, because he was trying but he didn't know exactly how to do it or to be faithful to mm. it and so there's a lot of boring scenes with talking and then there's some shit with Hulk smashing tanks and stuff that's what I'd skip to obviously but uh it's a weird film definitely weird Edward Norton's Hulk though fucking I love that I reckon that film's just so underrated Fucking even the score for the new Joker film. That sa- it reminds me of the Incredible Hulk with some of the sounds and shit. Hmm. Hmm. I fucking I love it. Um, what else is going on in the world? Uh, All right. Um. Do you... uh, I'm just gonna weigh in for a second. Yeah. Papa John claims to have eaten 40 pizzas in 30 days. <laughs> I, I seen something about that. How is this man alive? Oh, fuck. But also, what I was actually going to bring up is, did you hear that Rockstar did a photo online, the Diamond Casino heist? The what, what, what? Star is adding to Grand Theft Auto Online the Diamond Casino Heist, and based on what I've heard, it's like actually they're going to be good. Um, <laughs> like fuck, <laughs> I have to be downloading GTA Online. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna get around to that. Yeah, I'll be just too I know. easy. Yeah. I know that. Um. Uh, what else? So, Star Wars is not far away. Hoo <laughs> Won't that be fun? Oh God, <laughs> I'm so. Uh, Daisy Ridley, the woman who plays Rey, doesn't expect to reprise Rey after Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, saying her story couldn't continue without Finn or Poe. Wow. Well, that's a spoiler, isn't it? I don't know. (laughs) I think so. That's a pretty pretty damn big... um... I really... Really hope this plot leaks are true because I'm gonna laugh so hard in this movie. Ah, oh, she force lightning's chewy. No. Oh, Have you no. seen <laughs> the fucking it's like small clip where like a stormtrooper um like fl- like has a jetpack and starts flying and then like every single person in the ship says. They fly now in succession. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see if I can find it. It's fucking yeah, hilarious. yeah. No, I I know the scene you're talking about. It it 
they're on a ship that reminds me of fucking Return of the Jedi. Mm. Like, out where that side pit that just... Sand it like yeah, because where else fucking but sand. Because fuck, they can't mm. be creative at all. It's just, just sand, desert. desert. Just go to the desert, it's Actually, cheap. No, probably didn't even film it in the desert. Yeah, it's probably in a studio somewhere. Um... <laughs> Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker teases Dark Ray versus Kylo Ren. Dark Ray. What the fuck? I thought you said Dark Grey. <laughs> oh my god. The entire color is The entire him. color. I don't care. Ooh, first Wonder mm. Woman 1984 trailer is confirmed to release this Sunday. I. I liked the first Wonder Woman. I was like, the first time I went, hey, do you see this is pretty damn good? And it didn't do the... I didn't like it. You I didn't like it? Fan. Nah, I didn't think it was that I mean, good. I think the third act is like fucking way too out there and shit, but like when she gets out on the battlefield and shit with the shield and fucking, you know, tanking bullets and stuff, I thought, fuck yeah, that's fucking sweet. I thought it was alright because it didn't. Somebody just shot her in the head and then the film <laughs> ended. Oh, I'm sure there's an edit of that somewhere. There's gotta be. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker stars not interested in Disney Plus Star Wars Return. <laughs> this is all looking good for the movie, isn't it? Oh, yes. Uh. Taylor Swift documentary to hit Netflix early next year called Emotionally Revealing. Fuck off, man. It's got like Miss Americana will premiere at the Sundance Film Festival. And, like, whammon, you've got it all. You don't need, you know, emotionally revealing. Just be happy, mm. man. You've got everything. Uh, wait, what? Disney had to approve Aladdin's Aladdin Star's Hulu series Gangster Role. What? <laughs> yeah, apparently Disney had to approve uh, the main actor in the new Aladdin film, like him being in a gangster role in some of the Hulu series. Fuck. Disney's got way too much power and control. Way too much. Mm. Yeah. Like that, so Disney. That's that's fucking scary. Because when they own everything, they could control fucking everything. The last thing they have to fucking buy is Warner Brothers now. Because if you own DC and Marvel, well then, you can dictate what people will like and what they won't like, and control exactly what the fuck goes in a cinema. Yeah. You know, it's like you got you know two competitors, but if you own both the competitors, it's like. It's like playing chess, except you're playing as both people. You can make it go exactly the way you fucking want it to. Mm. It's it's too much. Disney's got way too much fucking control. They bought Fox, yeah. so they've got the X-Men and the Fantastic Four and Deadpool now. And uh, I can't believe they're still going on about um a, a Snyder Cut for Justice League. I... Didn't think yeah, people... I was surprised when you brought that up. Yeah, I there's got to be a concrete fan base out there because there is heaps and heaps of stuff on this, and the just the sleek Snyder Cut runtime is two hundred and fourteen minutes, which is three and a half hours. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I don't that think that sounds like hell. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever get it. What the fuck? Yeah, no, I don't think we'll ever see the light of day with that. I mean, I've watched one Justice League film. I'm, I'm a bit over it. Yeah. But, like, Justice League director says only... Well, Zack Snyder said only 10% of his original footage was used in the film. So Joss Whedon changed fucking everything. Uh, why? Why would they do this again? So for the new Star Wars film, new force powers will be introduced in The Rise of Skywalker. Fucking fantastic. Probably. Great. That's exactly They're what I needed. probably just fucking stuff that was already in the EU. Oh, I just... <laughs> it frustrates me, especially the last film where it's like, hey, look, all this new shit. And I don't mind, you know, the newer stuff. 
obviously. You know, I don't want them to do the same thing over and over. But I want it to make sense in the context of the other films. Because now it's like, well, why couldn't you just have droid piloted ships to fly at light speed to just completely destroy fleets? Mm. Right. It's like, when you introduce new stuff, it has to be stuff that wouldn't have been, like, yeah, objectively better to have done in the past. Yeah. Um, you know, like how... speed ramming, it's just the objectively best way to take down a ship. Well, it's like Yoda with the um, Force Lightning and shit like that. It's like, uh... Yeah. Why like, isn't there just an army of ghost Jedi who can fucking summon lightning on the First Order? Like, I mean, why... you could argue that only Yoda could do it, but why didn't he just fucking kill Palpatine? <laughs> yeah, what I... can you do to a Force ghost? That's the thing. Like, what I... do you actually do to stop a Force ghost from killing you, if, you know? now that they can? Like... When Vader kills Obi Wan, why can't he just be like, "Ha, Force goes bitch," and pull lightning down on fucking Vader? You know, there's no reason. Yeah, he's just like, Maybe "Oh, you know, what? I'm just gonna if you sit around." Down, and... I'll become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. I know, but we don't ever see that. It's yeah, no. <laughs> Obi Wan was fucking out of his ass. Because... <laughs> um... Oh no! What? Oh, Oscar Isaac, the guy that plays um, Poe in the new Star Wars films, which is Finn and Poe were gay in Rise of Skywalker, but they're not. In, like... Thank God. <laughs> why? They why? Have, like no actual chemistry as characters. Like they, as characters, they've spoken like twice. Well, for me, I don't even look at it like oh, gays. Or, you know, I don't give a shit. It's that. What does that add to the film? You know, why are they talking about just the relationship and not the film itself? It's like, why... Why isn't it enough for them to just be good friends? <laughs> oh, just... It's like saying, okay, these characters are gay, alright. That's fine, now go on with your movie. But they'll be like, no, no, we're gonna just be gay and really cram down that being gay is okay now and this, this, and that, and it's like, okay, get on with the movie. I'm here to be entertained by a film with a great story and shit like that. Save to the rock list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's... That's what bothers me, is what does it add to anything? It's like how they wanted to make Spider-Man gay. It's like, okay, let's say hypothetically he's gay now. That takes what? away from the story. Because, like, Spider-Man is into MJ. That's, like, set up in the MCU. I know. But let's just say, hypothetically, for the gays, yeah. their sake, um, that <laughs> Spider-Man's gay. What does it change? It doesn't... Mm. It doesn't change anything. Why should it matter what his sexual preference is when the movie's not going to really focus on that at all? That's just because oh, they want him to be gay. So well, why? Why can't... Okay. I don't mind them making certain characters gay, but I want them to have a reason for it. Otherwise, you know, be faithful I mean, to the source material. Necessarily doesn't... I mean, yeah, if it's an already existing character, then... Mm, you know, that's what I'm saying, like... Make him gay all of a sudden. If it's but, a um, necessary change, make the change, but... That but isn't necessary like and doesn't add anything. A character in a film that's a new character and they're just gay. There's no problem with that, obviously. Um, but if it's an already existing character and they change them to make them gay for no reason, that's when it gets weird. Yeah, I just, I just and don't think it's necessary. Finn, like, isn't Finn actually like set up as kind of being into Ray? <laughs> Yeah, and then now he's with the Rose chick because she just randomly kissed him at the end of the film. Out of the hey, he's taken whatever pussy he can get. <laughs> <laughs> he wants that resistance, baby. Uh, yeah. Um, I like this next article. This is amazing. Adam oh, Sandler 
threatens a terrible movie if he doesn't win an Oscar in 2020. Adam Sandler says he will make a bad movie on purpose if he doesn't win an Oscar for his role in the Safdie Brothers manic drama Uncut Gems. I've never heard of this. And there are so many Oscar contending movies this year. And mm. I just really want to see Adam Sandler deliberately make a bad movie. The other, oh, wait, the other ones haven't been deliberate? <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you look at, like, pixels and things like that. I can't wait to see what he'll do if he deliberately makes a really bad movie. Like, <laughs> that excites yeah, the want, shit out so. of me. And then he should win an Oscar for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want Joe Quinn Phoenix to get an Oscar for... Yeah, Joker. yeah. I, I would love it if Joaquin got one. Um... um. There's so many, like, he had uh, Once Upon a Time that came out earlier this year as well. Mm. With uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie. There there are so many. You got the Lighthouse one with William Margot Dafoe. Robbie was in that one. Yeah, I forgot. Mm. Have you seen all Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? No, I haven't. It's on my it was... list. Yeah, it was alright. I heard it was good. And fucking... It was pretty good. I can't had... say for certain because you know I haven't seen it, but I'm just yeah. saying there's a lot of Oscar have, contenders well. that are that are buzzing around at the moment, especially with you know even the Lighthouse with uh, Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Like there's a lot. So for Adam Sandler mm. to come in on top, being pretty unlikely compared to everyone else, it's kind of a good thing for me. I I really <laughs> want to see what he'll do. I really really want to. You know. Yeah. No. But... I really love. Um, fucking disasters when yeah. he was a film. He made like um, the ridiculous eight or something. He made Oh god. Grown ups one and two, Pixels. They're good movies. I wanna see what he'll do if it's a bad you just movie. Said Pixel wait, you just said Pixels a good movie. No, he considers that you know, a good oh. movie. These are all the good movies he's made. I Wait, he considers Pixels a good film? Well he's he's main star in it and all that. And he, you know, writes, producers and stuff like that. Depending yeah. on, like, which film. So, I... I love it. I just love it. Adam Sandler says he will make a bad movie, in quotes, on purpose, if he doesn't win an Oscar. <laughs> in 2020, I'll be honest, yes. I kind of... I kind of subscribe to the theory that Adam Sandler is, uh... Basically making these bad movies so they can go on like vacations with him and like all those friends. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, Jack and Jill. <laughs> yeah, I like to think they're like on a yacht for like the up. second half of the film. <laughs> yeah, I like to think that he's just on a holiday and decides to make a film while he's on holiday. So with grown ups, like he's just hanging out with a bunch of his friends and they turn a camera on, that's it. <laughs> You're like pina coladas. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. And then I look at Adam Sandler like I do Nicolas yeah. Cage. You know, I want crazy Nicolas Cage films. Absolutely. You know. Um. Have you seen a Nick and Nicolas Cage film called Mom and Dad? No. Apparently, that's fucking amazing, though. It's so good. It's about him and his wife trying to murder their children. <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh, <laughs> God, he'd be so good. He uh, is so good at that movie. Uh, hang on. I, um, that movie's directed by the same guy who made the Crank films, I believe. Oh, fuck yeah. Have you yeah. seen Crank? Yeah, I've seen Crank 1 and 2. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. That is like the definition of an action movie. The shit's hard. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, Here we go. I um, I retweeted this uh, back in October. It was that Nicolas Cage will battle animatronic monsters in an amusement park in horror film Wally's Wonderland. And it's just got a picture of Nicolas Cage covered you... in blood smiling. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie or something. Oh, I've got <laughs> I've to send you a photo of what this looks like. Yeah. Please do. Where's my phone at? It's fucking amazing. Oh, it's so good. I'll, um, I'll have this image come up on the screen. Uh, here it is. 
Look at him. <laughs> yeah, just give me a second as it's sent through you. <laughs> Nicolas Cage will battle animatronic monsters oh in my the amusement God. park in horror film <laughs> Wally's Wonderland. I love that shit. See, that's what I mean. I need I... more films like this. <laughs> I fucking I love I that. I think um he w I think he's been convicted of a crime and this is his cover story. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is covered in blood. God, I can't. I just th I love Nicolas Cage. I fucking love him. So All right, good. I'm gonna have to add uh, Wally's Wonderland to the watch list. <laughs> oh yeah, I cannot wait to see that. Oh, that'll be so good. Sounds absolutely epic. Oh, this is interesting. I want to see some stuff on this real quick. It's about uh, Joker uh, getting the Blu-ray release dates, special features announced, stuff like that. Uh, so, um, have you heard of the Frozen 2 Machete Brawl? Yes, I have. <laughs> the, the controversy around Joker being a dangerous film, but no, Frozen 2, machete fight. Holy shit. <laughs> That's fucking insane. You'd almost think that they did it deliberately to just, you know. Yeah. For the people that said Joker was dangerous. Oh, God. Up to 100 people were reportedly involved in a major disorder at the Birmingham, <laughs> England movie theater. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, I wonder. I'm just checking if anyone. I'm just uh, butting in real quick. Sorry. Uh, the Joker will be available for digital download on DVD December seventeenth, and then on January seventh, it will be available on Blu-ray. Yes, it will include a list of special features that include uh, Joker, Vision, and Fury, Becoming Joker, Please Welcome Joker, 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 etc. Uh. Uh, they had a 21 second video that shows Arthur's face with him without makeup. Uh, yeah, a lot of crap like that, which is cool. I am a massive advocate for special features in films. I fucking love that shit. At times I watch special features on movies, you know, when you had the DVDs as a kid. I'd watch them as much as the film itself. I fucking loved it. Um, yeah, have you got any more information on the Machete Brawl? Um, six, uh, six people were arrested. I don't see the <laughs> Six, when apparently a hundred people were involved in the machete battle royale outside of Frozen 2. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, fight broke out. Nearly a hundred teenagers. <laughs> but the couple pulled out machetes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Like... I guess it is England. Machete is the best thing you can carry for self defense. No. <laughs> Fucking hell. At Frozen 2 of all theaters. Fucking hell. I know, it's absolutely insane. That's yeah, great. I'm just checking. It said, um. Okay. Six teenagers, with one as young as 13 and the oldest 19, have been arrested. So, oh, fuck man, Fox is Planet of the days, Apes. Huh? <laughs> yeah, fuck. Fox's um, Planet of the Apes franchise is getting a Disney reboot. How many fucking planets of the Planet of the Apes movies are there? Fucking hell. There are are they rebooting Planet of the Apes again? For Disney, this is Disney's Planet of the Apes. Fuck yes. <laughs> no. How many Planet of the Apes gonna movies are there? going to have the gorillas from Tarzan. <laughs> I on. can't think of any other gorillas. <laughs> there is, um... Okay. Farewell to the Planet of the Apes. Back to the Planet of the Apes. Life, Liberty, and Pursuit. Planet of the Apes. Treachery and Greed on the Planet of the Apes. Behind the Planet of the Apes. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Escape from the Planet of the Apes, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, 
Planet of the Apes, Planet of the Apes in 2001, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes. There are so many of these fucking movies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It'll be Rise of the Dawn and the only, Fall like, of the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That'll be the new one. And only like two of them are actually good. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen any of the um, new ones. Mm. Or like fucking you know, any of them. missing really. out on much. Uh, uh, what else? Oh! Can't believe we haven't mentioned this yet. Uh, hang on, I'll just see how we talk time real quick. The Black Widow trailer was released. Have you seen that yet? I don't care. <laughs> don't care at all? I don't know why they expect us as an audience to care about a character we know dies in Avengers Endgame. I mean, that's not necessarily the problem. Like, you can care about characters knowing where they end up. It's just I don't care about Black Widow. <laughs> I just I feel like this movie is eight years late, and I've I know a bit with you in it's that a movie, I've never. I it was a show. No, nah, it's a movie, and I um. Ah uh, okay. Yeah, that's Marvel's next you know, big banger. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a little like that should have come out. Like, seven yeah, years ago. that's what I'm saying. It it feels like seven years too late, and I um, I was one of those people that, I just I never really wanted a Black Widow movie. I thought she mm. was, you know, good enough. On her thing, but it's got um yeah. Taskmaster in there as the villain, and I did hear about that. Yeah, he. And that doesn't... is a shame because Taskmaster is awesome. <laughs> I I love Taskmaster. I I do too. I reckon he's cool. How he can you know? It's like photographic memory, but with fighting. Mm. So he's like potentially limitless. Yeah. And. I not a fan of this design at all. I actually think the best one I've ever Doesn't seen. No, I have a giant skull for a face. It's like how Marvel did crossbones in Winter Soldier and then in Civil War. It's a bit like that, where you know it's oh. like, oh yeah, he's there. It's faint and it's kind of just the background. In this, he's pretty much just picture a dude in like a motorbike outfit and he's got a motorbike helmet and it's faintly got a white skull kind of on it and then he's just got a bow and arrow that's orange it's like uh, like I thought they were doing crazy as shit now I mean fucking yeah, no. look at all the magic and yeah I just crap. um I just put a picture of him and this article describes him perfectly. He looks like a paintball player. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not a motorcycle helmet, it's a paintball helmet. Oh, fuck, that's gold. That's great. Yo, I think the best Taskmaster design I've ever seen, would ha I'd have to give it to uh, Marvel Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. I yeah, he was pretty fucking epic. Yeah, I just, it was the best I've seen. It was I've better seen. than Screwball. Have you seen the one for uh, the new Marvel's Avengers game? The, I the have. Uh, we've spoken about that one before. Like, we have? I can't yeah, remember. Um, we were talking about how shit it looked. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that one either. But even um, still, I probably prefer that I, one over this new paintball player. Uh, I, I still think it's kind of funny how Black Widow fights him, even though she's just like a dude. A, a chick. I mean, like, she's just, you know. Yeah, no superpowers. Like, she's just a yeah. woman who's got great at combat or whatever. But in the, like, Spider Man, whatever, oh no, not Spider Man, the Avengers game is coming out, she, like, just turns invisible. And that, like, is that something Black Widow does? <laughs> yeah. Often? Because it's, yeah, like, it's... the first time she does it in the Avengers thing, it's not set up at all beforehand. It's just. You turn invisible now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think again, it's just gonna be another chapter in Marvel's fucking legacy of films they're building. I guess what <clears throat> I don't like is that they all follow that very same routine pattern with 
you know. Yeah. You, you, you see the film, the trailer or whatever, and you know exactly what the movie is, how it's going to start, middle, end, everything. I have, mm. It's like I, I see the trailer and I've already seen the whole movie. Even without them spoiling everything. It's like, I know... Yeah, it's just Pretty like much everything except a couple sets. Because there's like twenty five movies in this series now. Yeah. It's like every single individual film feels like less of a important part. Yeah. Yeah, it's just They should have just ended it with Thanos winning at the end of the end game and then series at the end. Everyone's dead. <laughs> that, that just ends with Infinity War. That's it. Ends like that. Thanos you know, Thanos should have just won the end of Endgame and then, like, gone through with his plan of just deleting the universe. He just deletes everything. <laughs> you can yeah. pretty much all the films, like the DVD copies, fade from existence. Yeah. It'll be meta, but we'll all know what it means. Mm. Um... Yeah, I don't know about Marvel and how much hope I have for Phase 4 or whatever. They haven't really got anything I'm interested in. A lot of it's, you know, it's Disney Plus. Oh, look, we've got a She-Hulk series, and uh, we'll, we'll have a Blade movie. That's that's all right. And then, you know, the only one that I'm interested in is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Because yeah, that's because I like Doctor Strange. <laughs> I like Doctor Strange as well, but it's that this movie apparently is going to be filmed like a horror film. That's what excites Dang. me the most. It's like, okay, cool, that's fucking different, and you're dealing with the multiverse, and let's show us some different shit, because it's kind of like they've flown off the rails, and it's like, there's no point trying to go to a Black Widow movie and shit like that. It's like, no, let's dive deeper. You've gotten away, yeah. like... It's like when they did Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like, yeah, you can do crazy fucking shit and we'll fucking love it. All right, just go crazy. All right? Try to be like, oh, yeah, look, we just want a Black Widow movie, but just forget about, you know, Thanos and time travel and, like, shit like that. And let's just go back to something a bit more simple. Nah. No, 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 no. You want to go fucking nuts. Yeah. If I had to, like... I've... Nah, you know what? Big plot twist. Black Widow isn't a prequel. She just gets up after time. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a plot twist. If I'd ever seen one. Holy shit. She's like, I'm alive. Now I'm going to go and see my sister and father in Russia. It's like, oh, yes. okay. Cool. Taskmaster. <laughs> ah, yes. I think those Avengers guys are doing alright. You know? Yeah. I mean, just jump cuts to Tony fucking half burnt and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck um yeah I think they just gotta keep going get crazier new stuff if I could have like any if there's any character I wanna see done right it's gotta be Ghost Rider I'd love to see a fucking Ghost Rider movie like, uh, oh I, yes I love the Nicolas Cage ones but to have something that's just fucking cool it's nothing cooler than a skull on fire wears a leather jacket and rides a motorcycle with its wheels on fire. It's like, fucking, holy shit. I mentioned shit. before, um, that I think a Ghost Rider video game, like the God of War video game that came out last Yeah, that's year, what I'm saying. Oh, fucking epic. be so good. You just swing chains around and shit like that. And let her fire and, like, and wreck people. Like, some brutal fucking execution animations. Uh, did you ever play the Ghost Rider game for the PS2? I don't think I played the one for the PS2, but I played the one for the PSP. Oh, no. Oh, bless your soul. <laughs> I think you've told me that before, but fuck. Yeah. Oh, the God, PS2 God. was awesome. I, I just remember, like, it wasn't about the story. The story was all over the fucking joke, but it was just fun to fucking do. Like, like just combat and killing people. You know, you grab, you know, your super moves like the pen and stare, where you stare into their eyes or whatever. And they fucking, you know, you just grab them and they freak the fuck out. And, you know. It's like that It's like that scene from the first Indiana Jones film where the guy just, just fucking melts. His whole fucking yeah. face and shit. It's like that every time you grab someone. It's like, holy fuck. 
but like riding the bikes is fun. But it's like how you know you swing a chain right around, wrap it around somebody, and then as you pull it back towards yourself, they kind of just turn into fucking ash and flames and shit. Like in that style of how you said like a new God of War game, you know, if it was mm. a Ghost Rider game, that would be sick as shit. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Ghost Rider of God of War. Fuck yeah. Yeah, uh, it would be... Man, I'd fucking want... I want it now. <laughs> I really want that fucking game. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I don't know about Marvel Phase 4 and all that. It'll be whatever it's going to be. Um, uh, in other news, and more related to what we're up to, are, are you anywhere with your um taxi driver thing project project taxi driver i haven't worked on that for a little while um uh, I still, I've, I still uh, see it. Oh, <laughs> yeah got an outline of things i kind of wanted to talk about but i've um not gotten really into writing the script yet yeah well i've been um every chance i get i have been full on with uh movie review stuff and I'm getting there I'm getting close now very close oh, oh yeah yes I've spent just this weekend alone I've spent 230 bucks towards stuff last week Hell I spent yeah. 135 but like you should is... just drop a review of Raid Shadow Legends <laughs> the most <laughs> ambitious game on well, mobile <laughs> if they hit me up uh, I suppose I could you know more than more than happy to do that, you know. Just just gotta you know raid shadow agents. You know if you wanna fucking yeah. You know you wanna do something. We can do something. You know, be cool. This podcast is brought to you by Audible. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, we're going old school, man. This is brought to you by Loot Crate. <laughs> <laughs> Loot Crate. Haven't had that in a while. <laughs> yeah, but um, I've pretty much script is almost fucking done. Oh, it's not really a script. It's like the film I'm talking about. I've got just dot points for everything I want to talk about because I don't want to forget shit and uh, take my time with it. And it's um, slowly just becoming a bigger and bigger endeavor to get done. But uh, hopefully everybody's going to really enjoy it. The script is, yeah, the only thing that's pretty much concrete. Otherwise, everything else I bought, it's on the way. I would expect it. Let's see. Start next year, something like that. Because mm. uh, I've been working flat out, and when Christmas comes around, I get a, a two week break, and that's when I'm going to go full on with it. I'm trying to get everything here before Christmas. So, like outfits and miscellaneous items. It's going to be fun, hopefully. I mean, well, either way, you're going to have fun, whether it's like, oh, yeah, shit, that's cool, or you're going to you're gonna laugh at me, not with me. <laughs> Yeah. So you should get a kick out of it either way. But I, yeah, I've been full on with all that stuff. Full on. Uh. Yeah. I, oh, what was that? It was just a meme I saw the other day of Black Widow. Oh, yeah? Uh, fucking, why doesn't my phone work? If phone doesn't work, why do I, why do I even pay for one? <laughs> Look, there's just no point anymore. No point at all. I didn't even do an audio check before this started. Hopefully all of this recorded. <laughs> yeah, that'd be... A, yeah. That'd be a rip if you just upload an hour and a half of silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, you still upload it, you still edit it, but um, there's no audio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um... Yeah, so all that stuff's going well with reviews. Uh, the first one's, you know, a big endeavour. It's going to be a lot of time. Uh, especially with it being the first of what I'm trying to do and not doing something like this before, it might take a bit to get right. Yeah. Otherwise, um, uh, the window is shaking again. Excuse that. Um... Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, you know, that's it's all going good. Um, after the first one, it's going to be much easier. I won't be going as big or as 
I'm kind of gonna rotate and like go big or small depending on the film and how much time it takes to talk about it you know so if I'm gonna talk about let's say Joker I'm gonna put a lot of time into you know, there's a lot yeah. to talk about but if we're talking about you know just a b-rate comedy or something like that but I don't have to have a lot of theatricality to it and you know a lot of shit to say it's like oh yeah just turn the camera on get everything going that window is really freaking out I think I'm suffering from an earthquake well if I die over the course of the next five minutes um, just upload this for me so everyone can know what the fuck is happening have to go over there and pick it up because I'm not recording any. I don't record these yeah yeah you'll have to do that you'll have to make a massive trip <laughs> oh yeah can I keep your PS4 because the fan on mine's super loud um maybe if my brothers don't get to it first oh that would be a bright moment <laughs> sorry I just <laughs> seen another article uh you know the film Cats absolutely I'm so excited <laughs> Cat's box office predictions suggest opening against Star Wars was a bad idea. <laughs> Katz is, what? Cats is projected to have a very low opening weekend at the box office, suggesting opening against Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, that's great. Fuck, man. Oh. I'm reminded of when um, Titanfall 2, which is a very good game, available on PS Plus right now, um, opened against the Call of Duty and Battlefield of that year. Oh, fuck. And it's better than both of those games. But obviously, it didn't stand a fucking chance. And Respawn Entertainment should not have stuck to their guns with the date they originally planned. <laughs> Yeah. They should have released it earlier or later if they didn't have the time. Holy shit. No way. Okay, this is going to replace... This is going to replace Funny Movie of the Week. These last two articles. This is the second oh, one. Oh, yes. Over 50,000 people want Danny DeVito to play the MCU's Wolverine. I, I want... <laughs> Danny DeVito to play the Wolverine. <laughs> a petition to see Danny DeVito cast as Wolverine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe continues to pick up steam, recently passing 50,000 signatures. <laughs> I can't sense. even imagine what <laughs> what he would be like as Wolverine. Can you imagine Danny DeVito saying Bub? <laughs> like claws and like sideburns holy shit oh yes <laughs> the sideburns and like the beard like Hugh Jackman yeah <laughs> can oh, that you don't even grow a beard I haven't seen him before I don't know I do not know uh... but it's just a lot of the same stuff um mm. Like, you know, there's uh, more stuff about shipping Finn and Poe's fucking relationship. The Rise of Skywalker recreates the iconic uh, Star Wars 1977 poster because they can't come up with anything themselves. Uh, Justice League, Snyder Cut reveals Batman's goggles were removed with CGI. Just little, <laughs> little things like that. How would you even tell? Because that whole fucking movie is just... The, how can you tell that his goggles are removed with CGI when you're too busy looking at Superman's upper lip? Like he, yeah. you, just, you just can't. Can't with it at all. Uh, I think that's uh, most uh, most of the news. Uh, Alright, there is no news. There is no news. I mean, there's there's some stuff, but it's not uh, it's super interesting. Um. 
yeah, look, I'll, I'll just leave that. Is there anything else um uh, you wanted to bring up while we're here? Um, no, no, nothing else. Uh, I think that's about it. You know, I talked about uh, shit that's happening with the channel and reviews and where that's at. And yeah, I would expect January-ish sometime. I mean, I want to get done as soon as I can. Awesome. Looking what forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be one hell of a fucking... Ugh, fuck. Are you going to... Uh, did you say what movie it was going to be? No, I didn't. A I didn't say what movie it was going to be. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm looking... Well, I'm I looking don't... forward to your review of... Uh, Jack and Jill. The critically acclaimed <laughs> Adam Sandler film. How did you know? How did you know? Fucking... You gotta stop hacking into my computer. Like, Neil Breen hacks into you fucking dropped, computers. Yeah, you dropped a few subtle hints. They're there. Oh. If anyone wants to rewatch the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. Um... I think that'll, that'll about do it for us. I mean, uh, we'll just take a look at how we're running for time. Yeah, an hour 20. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, thank Probably you, everybody. Probably out about 40 minutes of it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, so much for coming and enjoying us. To listen to us before you go to bed, I would assume. That's probably the best time to listen to this shit. Like, listen to us, put you to sleep with our nonsense. Or just watch it while you're driving. <laughs> a car. So that way, when yeah. Blake says something cringy, you can drive into a fucking tree. <laughs> Instead of just wanting to. <laughs> just strap the tablet to the steering wheel, it'll be fine. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, that's great. Uh, um. Uh. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Yeah. See ya.